today I'm going to uh, share with you how to set yourself to become successful. The principles of success that have made someone in another industry successful are the same principles of success that also make you successful. What worked six years ago when I joined is also what is still doing what? Working as a principal. Are we together? So what I'm going to share with you are actual things that I've probably done heart to heart. These are simple things you have kept on hearing, but I wish maybe you can be able to create a renewed commitment towards them. Are we together? Now set yourself for success. Um, this is me right now, right? But as you know, this is how I began six years ago. Are we together? This is a picture I've kept on seeing over and over and over again. But when you look at this, it really shows you that there's nothing special that I had. Are we together? I was also invited by anyone. I didn't even choose Alliance. I'm imagining if someone had invited me to another company, maybe I would have joined that one. Are we together? Someone just called me for an opportunity. I found it was nice. So I, I didn't like do some kind of research. I didn't have some kind of rare vision. I didn't have some kind of special skills, nothing. I was just invited normally. But when I was invited to Alliance Motion Global, for me, I saw an opportunity, this one here. I wanted to become a very big businessman. How many of us really want to become very big business people? Very big. Just your hands up again. How many of us want to become very big? So many times, in fact, to answer the rejection question is that many times, uh, someone who is ready, a ready buyer, someone who has been looking, you don't have to motivate them to be part of this opportunity. Out together, they, they will quickly see it. Uh, and uh, that's why sometimes if you feel that as an upline, you have done everything you, you have done to make sure someone joins, they run the business, they are set for success, it doesn't have to stress you that this person quits or is not serious. Out together, because maybe they are not just ready. So for me, when I saw this opportunity, I saw something big. I was looking for one day to get into maybe real estate. I was looking at maybe probably one day to become, have own big you know, malls, big supermarkets, big whatever. That's what I was looking for. But I knew that the biggest barrier that I had was capital. Where do I begin from? Out together. I was just looking for a way to penetrate this class of the rich. Now, when M Global comes in, it represents a a business that I can begin with almost nothing. Are we together? 900,000 or anything less than 1 million Ugandan shillings, surely is money I could get. And just with those little peanuts, I, what it just required was me to work like crazy. Are we together? To work as hard as I can. To surpass any rejection, to whatever, but to really work hard. That is what you need in network marketing. You begin with an almost nothing, but you must put in effort that is above average. Are we together? My dear friends, the moment you want to do the minimum, then you cannot become successful. You can only do minimum if you invest big. Are we together? So you cannot be the one who has invested small, 900,000, 2.7, 6.3, and again you want to be the one who is lazy. Are we together? I want to imagine that if maybe you start a business of 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, there you can afford to be lazy because you can employ people. Are we together? But you cannot be the one who has begun with little money and again, you put in minimal effort. It doesn't work like that. Now, I want you to also know that many times, uh, for us, we don't have employees and things of the sort. Are we together? The, you are the one who in the beginning builds your business. In fact, you begin without downlines. So you are the one who recruits them, you are the one who follows them up, you are the one who does everything. That's one fact you must be able to believe in the very beginning. So the moment I saw AIM Global, I would work like crazy. There was a time I used to sleep for only three hours, and it's a fact. Because I would wake up so early in the morning, maybe by five, I put on audios to listen to them. I just wanted my mind to change, out together, the, and learn skills. And Because I told you the other day, or I was telling Victor the Victorias that um, how good your team becomes depends on you. Because in the beginning, everything your team knows, you are the one who has taught them. Am I right? I'm right. Like, um, your downline, your people who join your business, most of the times, the things they know, how to follow up, how to prospect, how to invite, how to handle rejection, how to do what, like most of the times, you are the one who has taught them. So you, you really must be very good. So I was improving my skills every morning. 
So then I would come early to town to save on transport, but also to really come early. Then I would sit somewhere and I would make phone calls. So many of them, so many of them, it was crazy. I didn't have a limit. I just called so many people. And maybe by the time, maybe it is 10, I'm now beginning to have appointments. And I talk, and I talk, and I talk, and I talk, and I talk. Up to evening, I'm presenting to people, presenting to people, because I had already called them. In fact, many times I had more people to talk to than, uh, because there were many appointments could like kind of collide out together. Then in the evening, I would go back home. And I would get data. I would, uh, I would go to Facebook and I switch off data. Then I would get a message. Um, that is general, but I edit it towards, um, I edit it for each individual out together. For example, if I'm talking to Robert, I say, hello, Robert, Elias Mohozi, you have a fantastic opportunity. It is, it is, I can change it out together. But I would send it to so many people. I would have this attitude of Muhammad Ali, of saying that I will, um, they asked him that, how many push-ups do you do? He said that he only starts counting when it starts what? Hurting out together. So I would always want to do like really above average out together really really above average so i would send those messages and of course the data would be off so they don't maybe obstruct me then afterwards i switch on data put my phone in silent mode but put the alarm and then i sleep out together so in the morning while i'm calling i'm also replying all these people all these people all these people i did it for three months and that's how i moved from uh in may 2015 i i i i, I made 4.1 million in June 2016, I made 100 million out together. That is one year from 4 million to 100 million. That's how you become successful in network marketing. So th this thing here, it's not rocket science. Like anyone can just wake up one day and you pluck out the wire and you become successful. Nicholas was like that. He was also a grasser. He was grassing in the beginning. He's there being average, being a mediocre, being whatever. Then just one day he plucked out a wire and he started working like crazy doing the maximum he could do. Because you've invested small, so you better work hard. You get what's up. If one day you invest big, maybe, I'm imagining the owner of this building doesn't have to be very hard working. Money is working out for him, he invested big. Now you invested small, but you want to. <laughs> okay, so this is how I began, by talking to friends. And you can imagine, this, some people who are in your team right now, you, they will be the big stars. Imagine here, I'm presenting to these guys. I don't know who will join, who will not join. I don't know who will be serious, not be serious. And look at how Nicholas comes up. Out together. People ask me, how do you get leaders? How do you get serious people to join you? Let me tell you, serious people, I cannot determine who is a serious person. It's always ready buyer meets ready what? Sailor. Someone who wants the vision, who wants it, who is looking, who is searching. For me, I was at that point when I, where I was searching. No one needed to motivate me. No one needed to push me. No one needed to wake me up for sale. No one need, I didn't need to please anyone. Out together. And imagining, just like you, many of us, like... Uh, I told you a story of a guy in Tanzania. His name is Adrian Karia. He's a teacher. He saw a post on Facebook, and he lives in a, a place called um, Kahama, and in Shinyanga. Then he, that post, that presentation was in Mwanza. More like the way you see a Facebook post on Facebook advertising a business opportunity in Balara. So you get a bus to go to where? To Marara. So the guy got, got a bus, went to Marara, sent to a presentation, he liked it, and then he looked around for anyone. He says, excuse me, can you sign me up? Is it okay for me to be in your team? And then, and then he, he, he did what he, 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 he paid his money cash, they filled a the form and someone signed him like that. Today he's a millionaire circle, he has a very big team in Tanzania. Are we together? So it's always ready by a ready what? Sailor. Out together. So the moment you need that extra push, I'm imagining, man, then you're not a business person. Or maybe this is not your cup of what? Coffee. Out together. So um, then this, this was still the beginning days. This Duncan, this Hajara, this myself. I really didn't know who was going to become successful. Me, I was aggressively talking. And by the way, you can imagine how much I have been rejected. Because um, uh, uh, it's crazy. Uh, um, the moment you talk to so many people, then you also get rejected a lot. But you don't feel it because you already have people in the pipeline. When this one refuses, ah, then you are on what? On another one. So it's, it's just through you running through the what? Through the numbers. And then, uh, of course, um, initially I was slow. I was honestly slow. Uh, everyone has that point when you are second guessing. Yes, when I saw this, I saw a very big opportunity. But it took me one month and I have to get my first person. For the first four months, 
Also, I made only less than $100, maybe less than 300000 Two direct referral bonus and two matches. That is all I made. But I was really, really very slow. But for sure, every time, even if you are, you are feeling very slow, as long as you are playing your part, as long as you are doing your part, you are really doing what? Progressing. Are we together? Every time you present to someone, you try something, you do a one-on-one, -on -one, you make phone calls, like somehow you are naturally getting better, but you just can't know. It's just like growth. You can't suddenly realize you have become an inch taller, for those of us who have children. Are we together? Or you can't see a plant and suddenly it has become bigger. It's always a what? A progress. Are we together? So every little thing that happens is really part of your growth. In fact, um, all these stories I'm sharing with them, with you, some of them, of my adversity, because they were just part of my what? My journey. Are we together? So I want you to be in and be in. Then, um, of course, um, so to, I now I've become very successful. When you see me driving my Land Cruiser, you, you may think that our, I began like up there, nothing, out together. It all just came. When I meet very many people, friends of mine, they are, they are really imagining, how has this guy become so big in a very short time? No, I work like crazy, out together. Then, uh, of course, uh, right now we are finishing our apartments up there. We are there uh, already, all of them are taken. I only have three of them out together that are remaining. Yesterday, people were literally fighting for them when I said, now you can start making deposits, out together. So uh, all this one happens in just a period of six years, out together. And this is just one of the many investments that I have. So let me ask you something. You've started with peanuts. Why don't you work hard, out together? Now I can afford to be lazy. Network marketing really presents that opportunity for the ordinary person without capital to become very rich. But you work like crazy. The, the, the money gap, you must fill it with hard work. And the moment you work hard in network marketing, it doesn't lie. It grows exponentially. Are we together? Now, I'm planning a training, um, uh, of course, for the leaders, for the MCs. And I'm going to call it um, escape the middle class. Can you say escape the middle class? Escape the middle class. Because the middle class exists. Me, you, you see, many times we are motivated by, by, by discomfort. Are we together? Like, for example, when you are broke, you are a bit discomfort, maybe you want rent, maybe, you, maybe family is asking for money and you don't have it, and maybe contributions, maybe support. That is all discomfort. We are motivated by discomfort. So then we reach a point whereby we are now above the discomfort. You are no longer, you can afford fuel, you can afford school fees for your children, you can afford whatever. Basically, you can afford the basics of life. That's the middle class. Are we together? Now, even business people really remain at the middle class, even them. Even corporate now, many corporates, of course, they be at the middle class. But if, again, many business people, they, they also be what? Middle class, whereby they don't have problems, so nothing is pushing them. So for you to raise above the middle class, then you must be motivated by the why, not the problems. Are we together? And many, it's very easy to be motivated by challenges. Are we together? Now, after you've solved the challenges, now you need to move further to be now be motivated by a strong what? Why? Are we together? Can you afford to keep on working very hard even when you are making money? And that's the question many people ask me. How are you still working? Why, why, why are you still looking for? It's not because I'm being motivated by difficulties. I'm being motivated by a strong what? Why? By my dreams. Then, um, so you can see. And um, I normally like saying that adversity causes some men to break. During that time, I really had a lot of issues. I can tell you I really had a lot of crazy issues. And... Um, I could have settled for less. I could have, I don't know, many things I could not have worked hard. Uh, I want to imagine, because I began with borrowed money, I was able to start have challenges that you've probably, all of us had all, uh, 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 I was even worse, because you don't even have to ask me where I was getting money for lunch, because I was full time. You can't ask me where I was getting air time. It was really not a very easy time for me. But I said I'll not break. I said I will not I'll be consistent. And let me tell you, my friends, we must be consistent. You must be able to understand that even amidst the challenges, you must work like crazy. And let me tell you about network marketing, um, is that uh, particularly with the last motion global, the moment you work very hard, then what happens is, um, within a very short time, you kiss bye-bye to your problems. 
Are we together? In fact, we say it's not a get rich quick scheme, but I would say it is. Do you know why? I remember generally when I joined, I had rent issues. So January, February, March, April, May. Now that's a very long time, especially if you are uncomfortable. Are we together? It's a very, very long time, four months. But in May, which was my fifth month, I made 4.1. And ever since then, I've never really felt a pinch of money again. Are we together? Because May 2015, I made 4.1. I think the following month, I made 6.9. Kept on growing, growing, growing. I've never looked back. Are we together? But when you've decided to put in work, put in a lot of concentrated work. Can you say concentrated work? Concentrated. It must come within a very short period of time. That's why I'm a believer in a 90-day game plan. Just that there are very few people who ever finish the 90 days. Are we together? With the same momentum, with the same, uh, 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 someone from Kamocha can call it BD, right? With the same BD, with the same everything. Like very, very few people are able to finish the 90 day game plan. Then some people get frustrated along the way that I'm pushing the 90 day game plan, but I'm not getting results. And then they stop somewhere. Are we together? So if you're going to the 90 day game plan, I want you to understand that results will not come within the 90 days. In fact, results will come in much later. Out together. The, the hard work I was putting in from the time I began, it only came five months later. That's when I started feeling it. So can you be able to be motivated at a point whereby it is hard for you to be motivated? At a point whereby, man, you are literally struggling. At a point whereby you are, things are really not easy for you. At a point whereby, you know, rejections and you really feel like every day you wake up to quit the business. Now, the moment you can go through that, then you can be able to achieve success. Out together. Now, um, of course, um, today because of that, I persisted. I'm top one, uh, Uganda, Africa, and East Africa. I'm also number five in the world, and I'm also the very first Ruby Global Art Ambassador. When I mentioned all these things, just to know, it was, um, uh, there was nothing special about me. Out together. So today I'm going to share with you only three tips. Number one, what are some of the things that really helped me? The biggest thing I've ever done to myself, out together, the, 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 the best I've ever done for myself is uh, personal growth and personal development. Convincing yourself that you can make it, convincing yourself that there is light at the end of the tunnel is always the hardest thing. For that vision to enter you. So for me, personal growth and development did for me several things. Number one, there's personal growth that makes you believe in yourself. Out together. There's that personal growth that makes you believe in yourself. Number two, there's that also that personal growth that makes you, gives you skills. So for me, um, many times, you know, uh, people really think I'm very good. I have a lot of skills. I can train anything. I can make phone calls. I can close. And I'm really good, by the way. Very, very good. Out together. But you know why? I've taught myself all those things. I've read them. All together. I've read how to invite, I've read how to prospect, I've read how to close, I've read all these things. When you ask me, please train us these areas, I, 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 I've read them. I've really read them all together. So I want you to know that you can become so good, so, so, so good by reading those things. So I really read them. I've become so good because I've listened to these audios over and over again, even right now in my car. There's an audio that's playing. Okay, it's now packed. I do everything I can so that the first thing I do when I reach office, especially if I've come very early to read, and the last thing, I do everything I can, that the last thing before I sleep is also to do what? To read something. Because I know that you can only become very good by learning those things. So are you making a conscious effort to become good? If the only training that you are getting is the training here in the classroom, then there's a problem. And one of the areas you can learn a lot is through our scripts. The moment you can finish all the scripts, the 240 that we have, you've, you have maybe read, maybe I would say, uh, 10 or 20 books on network marketing. Are we together? So that morning sale, for those of us who normally come early, it's the, one of the, also the best things you can do to yourself. I prepare them, but even when I sit down with the, with the Victorious in the corner there, and, the, and we are going through them, oh my goodness, I'm learning a lot. Are we together? So make a conscious effort to become good. 
one of the best things you can do to yourself as a networker, if you, are, uh, um, um, if you not make anyone uncomfortable at home, especially if you are single, then get a, a subwoofer so that you'll be listening to those things. Then you can also, one other investment you must be able to do is to get earphones. Are we together? And you listen to as much as you can. And you're going to become so good. And I want to say that maybe I am top one because I've learned so much, more than many people. Are we together? Because like I told you, many times your team, the things they know, you are the one who has taught them. Are we together? So the moment you can teach them those things, then your team will become good. That's how the visionaries became so good. Because we are learning skills, we are doing whatever you can. Most people I signed up quickly became very successful because I was very good. Are we together? So you can also become very good, personal growth. In your first years, learn everything you can. Number two, uh, teach your team, of course. Expose yourself and your team to the bigger picture. Every time there are these guest speakers, they are... There are these trainers, always uh, listen to them. Uh, respect and learn from the current top earners. Can you say current top earners? Because you are the next top earner. By the way, don't all these guys who are like the up, up big there, the global ambassadors and what of you, the top 20, they are the current top 20 out together. Otherwise, you are going to surpass them. I've told you that one of the things that you can ever do uh, is to escape the middle class out together now. Because the top earners are very good, they're making a lot of money, but the moment they cannot also escape the middle class, then those ones who work beyond the middle class, we shall be able to beat them. Many of us are ready to work above, beyond the middle class. Out together. You, the moment you can push yourself, so they are the current top earners, but always respect them. Out together. Because there's something which they know that you don't know. So listen to them as much as you can. And then be still, be in your heart, be saying, you are warming my chair. Oh my goodness, the stage you are sweeping it for me. I'm coming to replace you. Out together. Even me. I'm not sure there's someone who's going to come and become the top earner of Alliance Motion Global. The perfect mindset of a networker, number one, you must believe that success is a skill that you can learn. Are we together? Now, I want you to always respect people who are very successful. Another mindset I want you to have is to know that there's nothing special about them that you cannot achieve. Are we together? For me, I've come to believe that success is a, is, is a skill you can learn. I want you to imagine that if I was a singer and I kept on singing and singing and singing, I can become as good as a, as, as a chameleon or some of these musicians out together. It's a skill that you can learn. So I want you to know that all these things Sudila has done, the Hams have done, the, 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 the Bitatures have done, all those are things that they learn. It's something that you can learn. Are we together? It's something that you can learn. For example, one of the people that... Um, uh, really, one of the things I've seen about, especially these very successful business people, they're very good at reading trends. The guy is going to buy a piece of land somewhere, and before you know it, that place becomes so classy. Now, uh, the other one is that belief in the products. You must also believe in our products. I don't understand anyone who is not using these products. I swallow these supplements more like my life depends on them, because it does. I've come to love these supplements, not just because I'm in alliance, but because I know that they are the anti-cancers, they are the anti-pressure, they are the anti-diabetes, they are the anti-obesity, they are the anti-something. So you must be able to use them so that you don't get those diseases. How many of us have relatives with pressure, diabetes, cancers, a lot of you? So are you, are you made of stone or metal? No. Are we together? You can also get them. So you have these products. They are there. They are available. C24-7 flashes out every single uh, cancer cells and carcinogens in your body. So why don't you use it at complete? Are we together? You are being like those people who say, let me first become successful, let me first reach there, then I start doing this. Are we together? So you must be in the products. The other one, you must be in the company. One thing for sure I told you the other day is that Alliance Motion Global will never, ever, ever, ever close. But Distributors quit. Are we together? You know, companies like Dyna Farm, companies like Tianchi, companies like Forever Living, companies like JLD, these are companies that have been there for years. So I've not had any network marketing company coming to Uganda and closes. The legitimate companies, never. Tianchi is there, House of Health is there. Are we together? JLD is there, Forever Living is there. It's just us distributors who quit. 
out together. You find people who have quit, who have left the business, I'm, and I'm sorry for them. But AIM Global will always be there. So believe in the company. Believe in building a long-term relationship with the company. For me, when I began this business six years ago, I was doing it as if I'm going to do it for the next 20, 30 years. I was doing it like my retirement plan. And more, no wonder, I invested big out together. I, I was not trying to grab money out of Alliance, not at all. I remember when we were starting uh, um, Haruna Towers, I, I invested about, I got all money, money, I made 69 million in my first year, right? And um, we shifted it to that, biz, to that place in, uh, in about March of 2016, out together. So, and I remember I invested in about 54, or to 54 million, 60 million. I literally got all my money on my account that I made in my first year. Of course, I'd spent some of it, all my savings. I got them and I invested in that place. All together. And then just about a few months later, I was earning 100 million. All together. Now, during COVID, I invested over 100 million, more than 100 million, really, I can tell you, to just get this place here. Now, I'm, I'm not doing it because I'm doing it just for just. Because the company is, is, I'm planning to exit the other day. No, 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 no. Are you getting what I'm telling you? So it's very important that you build that long-term relationship with the company. Treat it like your, your long-term plan. And let me tell you something, it will always be there. It will always be paying those who work hard to be paying those who invest big. Are we together? Now, the other one, of course, believe in yourself as a person. Number five, understand that success takes what? Time. And um, one of the areas in terms of thinking big, I've also read so much of these books and learned all these skills because I know that the company is not going away tomorrow. So I will, I will align myself and I say I'm only going to read on inviting for the whole year or for the, all this time. I'm only going to read on leadership because I know that I need those skills now, uh, next year, the other year, and 10 years from now. So you must have the long-term view. The moment you are short-term minded, then I'm sorry for you. You cannot invest big in a business, a traditional business or network marketing, if you are thinking small. Number two, make adjustments to fit your business. I want you to understand and pick it. Um, we are all where we are currently because of what we do every day. I'm sure you've heard that uh, um, 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 success depends on your daily habits. Have you? Think about it. Success depends on your daily habits. All the things that you do every day. Is it real? Yes. Is it real? Yes. How are you spending your day? Are you working hard to deserve the success? Are we together? So you must adjust yourself to fit the business. If you're part-time, if you're full-time, whatever it is, you must be able to make adjustments. You cannot maintain status quo. You cannot remain the same person. And just because you joined Alliance, God is not going to remember, oh, my sheep are known. He, they may remember him, he joined Alliance. No! You must make changes to fit into the demands of the business. So the moment you remain the same person, it's just like a... a um, um, I mean, many people start companies, and I love this. They start companies, they get fancy names, maybe they, they, they get Seven Hills consults and what of you. They even make business cards and what of you, the fancy ones, and they are giving them out everywhere. But it's, that's not what makes the company. Out together, what makes the company is you working and you cannot only work when you adjust yourself to the demands of the business. Touch Tenga. So, are you, have you adjusted so well? to fit into the demands of the business. Are you still the same person? So there are things which must change. And I remember, honestly, and I'm, I want to be very honest with you, I chucked almost everything in my life just to fit into the business. There are things which I could no longer do. The things that were taking my eye, oh God, I was a very big fan of Manu. A very big fan of Manu, and I think up to now I don't mind them. I could not miss any match, but time reached and I could not sustain that anymore. I was a very, on Fridays, evenings, I would pass by supermarket, buy myself some, you know, some few drinks there, 
and then I, I make sure that I have crunchy crisps and what of you and gun shop movies. I even had a hard disk of movies. Prison Break was my best. But do you know now when I watch a movie, I sleep? <laughs> so you must make some changes. You must make some adjustments. And I want you to question yourself, what adjustments have I been able to make to fit into the business? The Bible, it has somewhere where, maybe even the Quran is there, that if uh, your hand is making you not go to heaven, cut it off, you're better off going to heaven with one what? Hand, all together. If uh, your leg is making you uh, sin, then you are better off cutting it off and you go to heaven with one what? He did really trade, didn't mean cut off your hand. He was just saying that there are some things that we're used to that we must be able to get off, uh, put off as a load, put it off, and then so that you, you become lighter. In, um, I used to call it decongesting your life. Can you say decongesting your life? Can you say decongesting your life? That you choose to particularly remove some of those things. They, would be, they could be important. They could be even extra work. It could be not even there. Many of these things are not bad. But surely there must be a conscious effort to create that time for the business. Out together, some sacrifices. There is, in economics, we call it opportunity cost. That everything, you see me becoming successful here, becoming top one, man, it has come out of sacrifices. Out together. There are things I forewent. There are parties I didn't attend. Out together. There, there, there are pleasures I had to miss. There, there are things that I was attached to. There was a muhozi here who was average. Now, I, for me to become muhozi who is the... Uh, very successful, then I had to change some things out together. Many of us who are uh, uh, readers of some of these books, you know that they say that don't pursue success, but rather attract success. Can we say that together? Don't pursue success, but rather attract what? Success. So success is something that is attracted. How do you attract it? By becoming the hardworking person, the one who is consistent, the one who is what, the one who is committed, the one who is serious. Then somehow, success is going to be chasing you. Then we're also going to continue and say, change your daily routine to fit in your business. We are saying that you never change your life until you change something that you do on a daily basis. Now I want to double my results. Now I want to make much more money. Are we together? And those of us who are probably been following me, Oscar can tell you the story. I've been very hardworking, but I've tripled my hard work probably. Are we together? Many times I'm the first one to come here and also the last one to leave. And even when I show my work very hard, weekends I work. I never used to work on Saturdays. I used to say family time, family time, family time, which is important. I create it by, by, by maybe probably creating special time with my family out together. But at the end of the day, I realized that I must change something to be more attractive to bigger success. That what took me where I am is not what take me what? Father. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's very, very important. So for me to double my income, I, I, my, my money will not increase because I'm top one. Money says, oh, this guy is top one. I think let us increase. No, 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 no. It increases because of the things I do daily. Are we together? What made me top one Africa will not make me top one worldwide. Or maybe top one in the entire industry. So there must be some changes that, uh, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that you are making. Now, the secret to your success is found in your daily routine, what you do every day, what you do every day. So this is who he is because of what he does every day. I want to imagine that um, 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 uh, some of these bitatures is who he is because of what he does every day, daily habits. There's a script we discussed a few days ago, and it was talking about daily habits of successful people. And they have the same things in common, all together. It was, I think, script 100 and 240 something. No, 140 something. Now, Number three is work hard. Now, work hard is about increasing your averages. There's the law of averages. The law of averages is always at work, out together. And we are saying that, number one, increase your items. People you prospect on Facebook, people you say, hi, how are you? My name is Elias Moza, I want to show you business opportunity. Hi, how are you? Have you heard about M Global? Hi, how are you? Have you heard about um, 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 a product called Kid247? They're attempts. they're just attempts. No one throws in, I'm imagining then, a fisherman who is successful. He, he, he does not, he, he, 
he, he, he does not have any special skill to attract the fish. He doesn't sing for it, doesn't dance for it. He just throws in the hook all together. He's also guessing. No one can tell you that he's also guessing. He's really guessing. He just throws in the hook. Throws in the, but the more times he throws in the hook, the more fish she will catch all together. You cannot just throw in a hook once and you expect to catch. Well, you could be lucky, but someone who has thrown the hook 10 times and one who has thrown the hook in 100 times, they cannot have the same amount of success in terms of catching fish. The one who has thrown the hook many times, most likely will be able to have more fish out together. You cannot, the one who wakes up so early, the one who is reading more books, the one who is making more prospecting calls, the one who is more inviting, however unskilled they are, out together, somehow they'll have more people joining them. Now you could be like you sign up a big fish congratulations, out together. But at the end of the day, this one who has more work put in will always be more successful. Right together. This one who has spent his day better. So I want you to know that you must be able to increase your attempts in terms of inviting, prospecting. Don't even ask me how do I close. Don't ask me how do I present. Don't even ask me how do I invite. Just increase your numbers. That's how I did. I was not good. But oh my goodness, I think I talked the whole world about Alliance Motion Global. Become like David. David has this attitude that if anyone's know about alliance, let it be from me. If anyone's know about supplements, let it be from me. If anyone's supposed to know about network marketing, let it be from me. Like, let me be the one who has told the most people. They see you there. Oh, that alliance boy is passing. Oh, that girl of alliance is passing. Oh, Miss Alliance. Hi, how are you? Please don't tell me about alliance. They have done a very good job. I'm imagining if I stand at the balcony, I'll see like three billboards of Coca-Cola. Are we together? It's advertised more. People know it more. So me who advertises my business more, I will always probably make sure that I do what? I will always have more people who are joining my team. Are we together? Now, increase your time invested. Increase your time invested. One of the reasons why I wake up early and also live very late, I'm increasing my time invested in the business. Now, those of us who are part-time, it's okay. Do your job, but also increase the amount of time. How much effort do you put in? I've told you that now, even on Saturdays, I work. Out together. Why I'm trying to increase my time. I invest in the business. So you increase the time. How early you come? How many phone calls you make? How long is your prospecting phase? Increase the time. But you can also increase the time by working hard over a longer period of what? Of time. I've told you that many people work hard and they stop working. They stop at the middle class. Now, that's the worst enemy you can ever do to yourself. So the moment you stop at the middle class, congratulations, you're going to stop there. Someone who has not gone, worked beyond the middle class will always, of course, definitely uh, 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 be able to be more successful. Increase your practices. How many presentations you do? How many one-on-ones you do? How many phone calls you do? How many times you come in front as an MC? How many of us want to become very good public speakers? Fight for this microphone. Are we together? Don't wait to become good. Just fight for the microphone. Oh my goodness. Network market is the, one of the best ways to train yourself. Are we together? Now, uh, the other one, increase your trainings. <laughs> the law of averages works with consistency. Another reason you become very successful is because of your structure. Those of us who are still operating with one account, you are cheating yourself. By now, you are members, you know that we are not telling you to add accounts for us to earn more money. Are you together? Never have one account. Make sure you organize your structure. Increase the number of accounts early enough. The best thing I ever did to myself is to increase my accounts before I sponsored all my stars. The only person that I sponsored before I did accounts, who is a star, is Duncan. Everyone else, I'm lucky. So don't take too long. I've seen people who become very successful, but they take too long to add what? Accounts. Know your structure. Draw your structure and look at it daily. If you come to my office, you, I'm sure you see that. Work hard and value the leaders that make your structure. Support your team and make sure all your legs are working. No. It will take time to develop strong legs. But one of the things I want you to do is to add accounts, add them early, and work very hard. But the moment you take long to add accounts, the, the strength of a binary is in its depth. The weakness of a binary is in its width. Out together. So you can only increase the width, the strength of the binary using width by increasing the number of accounts that you have. Are we together? Now, the other one is um, I want you to also invite quality people. Can you say quality people? Can you say quality people? Quality. By the way, as you invite people, 
uh, um, one thing I learned from Matt Morris is that when you're inviting someone, end by telling them, please dress sharply. Please dress sharp because I'm going to introduce you to our business partners. Are we together? Add that extra to tell them, dress smartly. Dress sharp. Please make sure you're smart. I know you're already smart. Please make sure you don't disappoint me. I'll introduce you to our business partners. That person will psychologically join, but also it will make other guests join. But the moment people are in sandals, people are in the t-shirts, people are in everywhere, people have come as if they, are, they were passing by and said, excuse me, pass by, and we are giving out free food. That's what is happening. So structure, this is my structure. You can see this is me right here, my first account. Then this is uh, where Duncan is. Are we together? So now, when you do your structure very well, this is Duncan. But you notice that Duncan is actually the weak leg for account number one. Are we together? When you do that, it is the weak leg of account number one. Look at all this. Now, when you look at account number two, which, which one is its weak leg? Uh, Damian from Kenya is top one. The team, Godfrey Kasimbazi in Barara, and the, the team in Tanzania, all are its weak leg. The, the structure will organize. Its strong leg is Nicholas, Sydney, and his whole team. Um, the Victorious, I think, are somewhere there. And even the team that had Jimmy, Vodi, and what of you, Top Anna of Tanzania, is here. If you look at number three, a good structure, which one is its weak leg? The Top One of Tanzania and the Victorious. Its strong leg is Sydney and what? Nicholas. Account number four, which one is its strong leg? I don't know. Because Sydney and Nicholas, I think they are equally very strong. But really, in position, maybe Sydney is the weak leg of Nicholas, of this leg. All together. When you look at number, number six, the weak leg is Damien. So when you draw your structure very well, some of the, the top honors of countries will be the weak legs of your accounts. Are we together? I want you to imagine all these people had joined when I only still had one account. Are we together? So I normally say that I don't, I'm not the top honor because I have the biggest team. Are we together? Because I'm also under some people. I'm also down like some people. I don't have the biggest team. They have the biggest team, but have the be a better what? Structure. Are we together? So don't be the one who has the very, very big team, but you're not earning from the team because your structure is not what? Serious. Imagine all this part just on one leg or to one account. So add your structure early.